you guys you guys voted it you wanted to see fifty dollars shopping for one week so you're gonna get it i'm headed to kroger's right now so let's make it happen all right the first item of is eggs you might want to get these but this is a bit more but you get five dozen so this is the move right here it gives you a lot of options. you got almond milk this is like 250 this is 199 a pound and you get all this meat almost five pounds this right here is only this is eight bucks a pound this whole thing is more money than this all of this so you got to make decisions like that based off of price per pound this is only almost another example this is eight bucks this one right here is nine dollars rice it's three dollars time you guys when this was the move but as you can see tuna is outrageous nowadays so it's a no for me dog get some oatmeal could get something like this but that's a bunch of garbage <laughs> <Got he. laughs> bunch of sugar this is the move this will last you for at least a week if not more and it's only 249 Veggies just kind of get one big thing. Potatoes, $2.99. This should last maybe even more than a week, honestly. And then we got sweet potatoes, $1.99. And we have some more veggies. This is, a whole head of this is a dollar. And that's going to be, you know, one meal for throughout the day, maybe like five days. We got bananas, they're 59 cents a pound. And we got a little bit less than three pounds, so that puts us at like a dollar and a half, maybe somewhere in there. So we still got a little bit more to get. Go back and get some meat. We don't have much fat in our diet, and you need some fat. I could get some peanuts, but I'm gonna get two of these for six bucks, and that'll be about all. So, this would have been possible except for the government. No! 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 149 in tax. So I had it to 49, but didn't work. I was at like 49 and some change. But, you know, the government, they need their money. So I, the, the total was 51.32. So I think going over by $1.32 isn't too bad. Uh, keep in mind that. You know, I got maybe two weeks worth of eggs. I got two weeks worth of rice. I got probably two weeks worth of uh, potatoes. I maybe maybe days days or so. Days, so. I mean, I could have gotten cheaper eggs. I could have got the, not the bulk deal, but the, you know, the one actual wheat deal. 18 eggs would probably last you for one week. So that, I want to say that was like $1.99. So that would have put me under. But either way, like it can be done. Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm back here at the kitchen and these chicken breasts are huge. So they're about a pound a piece. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of cut them in half. Uh, I'm gonna fry some of them in a recipe that I like, or half of about half of them. I'm gonna cook in soy sauce uh, apple vinegar sauce and Himalayan salt and then the other ones I'm gonna do I'm gonna dip them in two eggs and put some breadcrumbs on them and it gives it kind of a fried chicken so for this you're just gonna take it you know spray it down with some non cooking spray make sure you wash your hands before and after when you're done with uh, chicken and I got the chicken here in the bowl. You're just gonna put it in there. Some people don't like the feel of chicken, so they, you know, put gloves on, but I don't care. I'm dealt with worse. And you're just gonna take some uh, Himalayan salt, and you're just gonna sprinkle some in there. Some soy sauce. Put some, drizzle some out of it, and then you take uh, your apple vinegar, just put 
put some in there. And you really want to put some razzle dazzle, you can put some brown sugar. I'm gonna wash these because I just touched chicken and I wasn't thinking because I'm a moron. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. This part, you're gonna take uh, breadcrumbs in one bowl. So for this bit, I got three eggs here. Just gonna whisk them up. Got a fork. Hashtag bodybuilder on a budget. You know what I'm saying? And uh, right here, I got about a half a cup of uh, breadcrumbs. It's not exact, but you get the idea. Put a little bit of salt in there. And put some of this. Uh, you don't have to put this, but I'm going to put this in here. And then take a different fork. Mix that up. Over here, I have the... Um, pan that I'm going to bake the uh, chicken and uh, so you take the chicken dip it in the eggs into the breadcrumbs and then onto the pan and that gives it kind of a, a fried chicken feel, um, but it's not as bad for you. Uh, you bake that for about 30 minutes and it's ready. So I got my other chicken over here that's frying and then I have um, the breaded baked chicken right here. All right, so that the oven is done preheating, so we're gonna plop these bad boys into the oven for about 30 minutes. They should be absolutely delicious. In the meantime, we're about to start cooking our rice. Rice is pretty simple. Uh, so you just, however many cups of rice it is, you put two cups of water. You could put some salt, and you could put some soy sauce if you want. But. Go ahead and get these sweet potatoes going. Got this pan right here. I like baking most of my stuff. So what I'm going to do, dice these potatoes up, you don't have to be real clean with them. Probably need a bigger pan actually, let's see, let's see how that works. Just kind of half them, you want them to look about like that. Take a look at that, see if we... Have too much or enough room for all of these? I don't think we do. We definitely don't. All right, fail. So we got these all diced up. They're just gonna drizzle a little bit of oil down, and that's way too much. Oh well, because you're on a budget, right? You can't afford to waste any. Nah, I might not be too much. Whatever. Just slow, throw them in there. Slow them in there. I'm gonna sprinkle some of this. Garlic, salt again. This stuff's pretty cheap, man. It's like, I don't know, a couple bucks. And in the oven it goes. Watch these real quick. I pulled out seven of them and I did four cups of rice. So if I do a half a cup per meal, that'll be eight. So that'll give me the one less sweet potatoes. And I'm gonna prepare them the same exact way that I did the uh, sweet potatoes. I'm just gonna dice them up, cube them up, however you like to say. And run to the pan they go. 
The big chicken is done and look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to eat that. Guys, finished with all this. And this is all the food that we got. So what I did was I cooked out three meals and I'll be doing about five. I'm not gonna cook uh, all my oats and stuff like that, but I mean, I did it right here just to kind of show you. And I'm just gonna do overnight oats with that. Do one banana, some almond milk and stevia, mix it together and I'll eat that with, with this setup, probably five eggs or I could do egg whites, either or. Um, all this is leftovers. So, I mean, we didn't even use probably a fourth of that. There's still one, six potatoes, and there'll be one banana left over, eating one a day. And there's gonna be some oats that are left over. I have 21 meals here. The the uh, ground tur turkey or uh, the ground beef, but I just, you know, kind of sauteed it. Um, I showed you everything else, the sweet potatoes, the potatoes, uh, and then I just evenly even uh, divided the spinach and uh, kale out, and there's some for my eggs. I'll probably make some omelets with that, I'll probably do some egg white omelets. So the macros for this is going to be about right around 2,200 calories. Uh, that's what I'm eating right now. I'm at a caloric deficit, so I'm cutting. So uh, that's about a 300 calorie deficit for me. Uh, it's going to be at about 200 grams of protein, 150 grams of carbs, and like 80 grams of fat. So 